every other song he's made, trash. Oh yeah, we're recording by the way. Oh, oh <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. First up, we have People in the Halls with Alexander Hurt. Everybody, and welcome back to People in the Halls. I'm your host this week, Alexander Hurt, and this week we're asking what are people's favorite movies? Now let's get into it. Hey, what are you guys' names? I'm Clayton, AKA Bake. I'm Jaden, AKA Shake. I'm Jai Watson. I'm Mia Howell. Uh, Brett Baldrige. And what are you guys' favorite movies? The Step Brothers. Step Brothers. What's your favorite part about the movie? <laughs> Hot Shake and Bake became a bond like yeah. that. Because we came, we came a bond because Step Brothers, so we like Shake and Bake. And what's your favorite part of the movie? When he starts messing with his drum set. Before, yeah. When, when he puts his, his uh, things on his drum set, and then we like, we like Shake and Bake. What are you guys' favorite movies? Favorite movie is Columbiana. Mine's after. What do you guys like about the movies? Um, I just like the uh, vengeance in it. She intentionally gets herself put in jail so she can kill her parents' killers. I just like the sad romance. I'm lonely. What are you guys' favorite parts of the movie? Oh, the part where she has to like act drunk and get in a car wreck and then she puts fake uh, fingerprints on. That was pretty cool. The part where they are in love and he didn't break her heart yet. And what's your favorite movie? Magic Mike. What'd you like about the movie? The strippers. <laughs> and what was your favorite scene from the movie? Channing Tatum stripping. That is all for this week, folks. Those are the favorite movies of the students of DHS. Now, we have Bizarre Bistro by Claudia Manis and Maya Kanu. Welcome to Bizarre Bistro, a segment on DTV where we eat a whole bunch of random food. I'm your host, Maya Kanu, and this is my friend, Claudia. On today's episode, we're trying Snickles. Snickers and pickles. We also tried hot sauce and ice cream. And we rated them on a scale of 1 to 10. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Uh, are you just gonna like reach in there and grab a pickle? Yeah. Do you wanna like fish it out with this one? <laughs> Alright, I really don't like pickles. The Snickers are too big to fit inside the pickles, so we have to just eat it. Oh, I'm like gonna this. have to use that later. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are, because I ain't using that. We're just gonna use the wrapper to pick up the pickle. Put my hands on my like <laughs> pickle juice. <laughs> How is it? Is it bad? Describe the taste, it just feels like I shoved a pickle and a Snickers bar in my mouth. <laughs> like, that's that's all it is. Moving on. <laughs> How was that for you? How would you rate that? Um, that was so bad that I would give it a zero, but I can't, so I'm gonna give it a one. <laughs> I'm gonna say five out of ten. Like, it wasn't bad, but like, it wasn't remarkable either, so. So you can get however, however much you want first. <laughs> Do it the fancy way. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I already 
tried this one, so. Hopefully it'll be better than pickles. I don't like pickles. <laughs> It's spicy, but it tastes good. Like it hits at the back of the throat. It's not bad though. It's just really spicy. Yeah, that's it for today's episode. Well, you gotta read it first. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'd say a seven out of ten. It's not bad. Yeah, I'm also gonna say 7 out of 10. Like, I don't know. It's not bad, but it just doesn't have any flavor. It's just spice and ice cream. Like, it's sweet at the beginning, though. Yeah. Who decided to do this? I don't know. Alright. <laughs> okay, we're done. We <laughs> multiple times, like. <laughs> Would you like to say something to our dear friends? No? Okay. See you all next week. Maybe, if I survive this. Here we have Burger Bash by Jason Smith. Hey everybody, my name is Jason Smith, and for all my life, I have been told that, that you gotta go to this place, no this place, no this place, to get the best burger in the Wichita area. No more. Today, we are going to be having a brand new segment I like to call So, how good was it? Well, five out of five. Excellent. The only thing I could knock it for is that I couldn't eat more of it. This was easily what a burger is supposed to be on this show. It is the bar. As for how good the atmosphere is, overall, it's wonderful. It's a perfect Americana style with some great mom and pop energy that just can't be beat out here in the Midwest. Four out of five. How good is the price? Well, given the price of beef lately, overall, it is one of the greatest meals that you can get for $8.50. Look, 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 it's me, Jacer. <laughs> Here's the green screen projects by the animation class. Ian Burnaby, accountable for 11 million murders across the galaxy. 11 million? I thought I was still at 9 million. Are you sure you didn't miscount? They'd pay a fine for gantry thief for your head on a silver platter. I've killed 9, no, 11 million people, and I haven't been killed by a single one in return. You really think that it's going to be that easy to assassinate me? Nano machine, son. What? Don't worry, you'll understand soon enough. Are you sweaty? Are you tired of being sweaty? Well, this will help you just now. Put it on, even, even a glove will work. There.
Oh. Oh. Whoa, where? Am I in an Old Spice app? Well, let me just tell you, Old Spice American Swagger is probably, Old Spice in general is the greatest type of deodorant or any type of body care you need, okay? You should get any type of Try it, go. Makes your breath feel good for a long time. And also, Hey, give me your wallet. And now... Hey everybody, it's sports time. Baseball teams split their series with Mays last week. Luke Westerman, Saban Seeger, Braden Horn, and Jaden Jackson all hit home runs in the series. The softball team also swept Mays. The girls soccer team beat Newton on Wednesday 3-1. They improved to 9-3 on the season. Derby girls swim and dive took first in their meet at Southeast last week. That's all we've got for this week in sports. Tune in next week for the senior episode on DTV.